We are back now with education news. The Kern County Board of Education has a temporary appointee currently fill, filling the Area 1 trustee's seat. This following the retirement of longtime board member Ronald Froelich back in August. But now there's a petition to terminate that provisional appointment. 17's Jenny Ha joins us now in the studio with more. Jenny? Jim, Tammy, it's about the fairness of the process, or lack thereof, as some say. The seat is an elected position, but no election happened, so some are now pushing for one. I take it very serious, and, I, and, and who I recommend for my, my follow-up is, is very serious to me, and, and I look for two years before I, because I've been wanting to kind of retire for a long time. This August announcement by former Kern County Board of Education trustee Ronald Froelich started it all. This is something Ron did. Tara Carter, a former candidate for the Area 1 seat, both against Froelich in the 2022 election and against Julie Beechner for provisional appointment, is leading the push for a special election. Julie might be a wonderful candidate, but it's that she wasn't elected, and that is the whole point of all of this. I'll make a motion for Julie Beechner. Carter says it's about dishonesty and that she didn't have a fair shot as Beechner was the quote-unquote hand-picked successor. The reason I say dishonest is because Ron in July point-blank lied and said he was not retiring. In August, he said he had been vetting this person for two years and he was announcing his retirement right then. That means you knew when you ran eight months ago, you knew you planned to do this. Carter argues Beechner should have just run for election herself. Beechner, however, tells 17 News in a statement in part, quote, Mr. Froelich has told me in the past that I would make a great board member and that I should consider running one day. It's something I've considered, but I did not want to run against Mr. Froelich. I was never notified I would be a successor. When asked about the allegations she had been vetted by Froelich for two years, Beechner says she did not know what we meant by vetting. 17 News verified with Froelich he he had been vetting Beechner for two years. Froelich says while he did consider retirement during his 2022 run, a personal loss unexpectedly sped up that process. Per KCSOS, Beechner is a professor at Bakersfield College and is no longer with Kern High. Working for a Kern school district disqualifies a county education board candidate. When Beechner was sworn in in September, all but two trustees voted for her, Lori Cisneros and Mary Little. The two were also excluded from Froelich's candidate committee. Why did you pick Joe and Paula and not me and Mary Little? Just well, curious. I'm going to tell you why, because I want somebody that's level-headed and, and, and not have an agenda. I take offense to that. And the way Ronald Froelich announced his retirement and already had somebody picked out and already planned on having a committee, he announced with Joe Marcano and Paula Bray were going to be part of that committee and that he was already planning all of this out. But trustee Paula Bray denies such accusations, saying there never was action by the committee and all board members learned of Beechner's candidacy at the same time. Froelich also says the committee was never activated and that there were no backroom conversations. Cisnero says she received both Beechner and Carter's applications via an email from KCSOS Superintendent John Mendeborough on September 8th. Bray also provided that date. I still do not understand what the accusations of corruptions are in that I was asked to be on a committee. I said I would be on the committee. The committee was never convened. We went through a process in front of the community, which was transparent. Trustee Joe Marcano did not respond to requests for comment. The cost associated with a special election will take funds away from providing support to the students of our community. Beechner also opposes a special election and spending $213,000, the estimate the Kern County Elections Division provided. That includes ballot printing, postage, envelopes, um, staff labor, again, 
there's a lot of costs involved with conducting an election. Per California Education Code 5091, if there's a vacancy or resignation, the board must call an election or make a temporary appointment. And within 30 days of that appointment, voters can petition for a special election, as they are now. Signatures are then sent to the county superintendent for approval. In this case, the elections division will help verify signatures. If approved, the special election will be combined with the March 2024 presidential primary. Because it is a provisional appointment, Beechner would have held her seat until the November 2024 general election. If she had won that, she would have been trustee until 2026, when Froelich's term would have ended. Then, she could run for a full four years. Beechner says she had planned to run in November, and she will in March 2024 as well, if that special election happens. There's been an ongoing push by some trustees to alter the appointment process they consider unfair. Carter emphasized parental rights, saying schools must listen to parents, and that KCBOE must be a role model to Kern's 46 individual school districts. They have a huge influence, and they're, they, they overstate it. KCSOS clarifies their board has no direct jurisdiction over those individual school boards, only its court and community schools of 563 students. KCSOS also says a county board of education can intervene with the district only on matters of expulsion, attendance, and authorization of charter schools. Now the board will meet in just a bit for their monthly meeting and will again discuss mod modifications to the appointment process. I'll be back at 11 with updates. Live for 17 News, I'm Jenny Ha.